Doesn't it look like it has to go too fast? Indeed. This is one of the sleek airplanes. I ran into this in Germany several years ago under the name Corvus. It's a Hungarian design originally. And isn't this a lovely little airplane? But it's got one thing about it that's different than all these other airplanes. And there's only one other airplane in the United States that I know of that uses the Lycoming O235 in a light sport aircraft. So with that engine done, what kind of performance do you get out of it? Well, the truth of it is, of course, you can't go any faster than 120 knots in the light sport segment anyway. So they're using this engine because it's very conventional. Lots and lots of aviation enthusiasts have flown behind the Lycoming engine in their careers, so they feel comfortable with it right away. But it surely does move it right along, 120 knots maximum, and cruise just a knot or two underneath that using that nice big three-bladed prop on the front. Let's have a look at the interior. In it, Let's do that. So this has got a, a bubble canopy on it for great visibility. Yep, swings forward like you see. And when I first saw this airplane, I mentioned in Europe, it, they had a powered canopy. That is, it went up under an electric motor and the fellow walked up to it with uh, like a TV remote clicker in his hand or a garage door clicker, hit a button and whoop, up went the canopy. Very cool. Uh, neat, neat air show display feature, but a little heavy for practical use and just not necessary. So it just swings forward, uses some gas pistons to hold it open. But although it's a, a, a simple interior, it's a nice wide cockpit with quite comfortable seats and a steep angle of the seats. It actually it seems like it's not going to be too comfortable, but proves to be quite comfortable. Now, control system, what are they using for controls? Well, in this seat, you see that it's got dual joysticks, which come back and work right there between the seat. So once again, you've got lots of leg support, which is much appreciated on long flights. Both sides have a complete dual controls, including, in this case, tow brakes, which a lot of GA pilots like. Same kind of guys that would like the engine on this airplane are going to like the control system as well. Now, do the tow brakes steer it, or is it a steerable nose wheel? It is a steerable nose wheel, but with tow brakes, you have what's called differential steering. That is, if you need to turn really tightly, you push the rudder pedal as hard as you can and get it turned as tightly as you can, but then you can add a little brake just on that side and really make it spin around in a, on a short area. Now, does this airplane equipped with flaps through down? Yes, it does. If you look up here to the uh, dash, uh, to the panel, uh, you see that it's got the, Di uh, the Dynon Avionic uh, flat, screen, flat screen display and the 496 uh, Garmin GPS. And then right to the side of that, real nice uh, display there, you've got push button flaps, which not only tells you what number they're going to, but about how long or how far down they're going to hang. In addition, uh, most airplanes have uh, trim in this category, and indeed this one's got it, but very conveniently right here on the joystick, on both joysticks as a matter of fact. So that's a nice feature to it. So have some of you done a report on this one, Dan? I have not, but I'm looking forward to it, and when I do, I'll post it on bydanjohnson.com. That's bydanjohnson.com.